taking off. Goosebumps, it looks just the way we had tested in our test chamber, space simulation simulator chamber here. Absolutely beautiful flight. I don't think I can. It is bittersweet that I must announce that Ingenuity, the little helicopter that could, and it kept saying, I think I can, I think I can. Well, it is now taking its last flight on Mars. As it was coming down for landing, at least one of its carbon fiber rotor blades was damaged. We're investigating the possibility that the blade struck the ground. This is what the blade looks like. It's a special fiber with a special contour. That little helicopter could fly in a 1% atmosphere, not 100% atmosphere like we have on Earth. It cut through a 1% atmosphere and was able to fly. And what ingenuity accomplished far exceeds what we thought possible. Almost three years ago, the helicopter made its first flight on the planet Mars. Altimeter data confirms that Ingenuity has performed its first flight. And living up to its name, Ingenuity made history as the first aircraft to make a powered controlled flight on another planet. But then it flew farther and higher than we ever thought possible. And what started as a technology demonstration with plans for only up to five flights has now completed a remarkable 72 flights on Mars. And the innovation doesn't stop here. It acted as a scout for the purpose